Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with another model video. Unboxing, building, reviewing and finishing the high grade 1144 Demi Trainer Bandai Mobile Suit Gundam Witch from Mercury 2023 release $20 local AUD or about a thousand yen retail with three ABS polystyrene runners in a mix of subtle greys and off-whites a clear visor with some neat undergating and slide injection molding for minimal faults and pin marks small foil sticker sheet full color 3d orientated easy to comprehend instruction sheets with plenty of art reference and color guide all contained in a neat glossy box to build, I have a basic and more advanced tool set. Nippers, knife, sandpaper and cement with the double cut technique to remove from the runners and cut closer to a nub, trimming it and sanding it down flat as I will be painting. Common color components will be cemented together, a solvent that melts two surfaces and fuses into one. The second tool set containing filling putty, a scribe and a ream. With my vocal opposition of recent kits and offerings from Bandai, mostly not enjoying the offerings of real grades to 30 minute range and being more toy-like Lego than traditional glued together kits. This impulse buy was very surprising and a shock even for me, though I am a sucker for trainers and non-military mobile suits. Thoroughly enjoyed the anime too, but I've always enjoyed the main high grade line and new kits from that, and this is no exception. Polycaps is a noticeable absent, which is a major red flag. Not too much of an issue with this particular one. Small parts count, so not overly intimidating and an immediate start on the head and torso. The breakdown of parts is very clever as we're not exposed to any faults, flash or hollow components. With the deep detail profile and proportions, I feel that I'm building a far more detailed and expensive kit than I really am. This does blur the lines across multiple grades. Color separation is absolutely flawless and the positioning of nubs very neat if you're taking a snap approach. Articulation is not too inconvenient if you're focusing on paint. The building stage was not very much a challenge but more of a marvel to behold the engineering and playability plus gimmicks. Being a blank canvas there's all sorts of slots, points and possibility for future releases already out and aftermarket components to do other variants and customs or heading more in the build divers part of uh, crazier GBWC stuff. In box it just covers the student version from the anime with the antenna gun shield and baton. There is enough articulation points that the poses are pretty full on and can imitate anything in the box art or show. Seam line filling only covered the gun which is in two parts and not in the central part of the build. All the components were utilized off the runner keeping the price nice and low as an entry point or quick fun throwaway model. I did not invest any more than two hours in the snap build and nub cleaning process. Speed builders would be lucky to get 20 minutes half an hour of experience. The proportions and bulk is absolutely spot on according to the line art and box art. Finish is lackluster and needs paint and pigment. Starting off with disassembling and sorting out by colour, separating some of the joints and internals not to be gunked up with paint and softened with thinner. We have plenty of joints and pegs to work with in mounting on alligator clips and sticking into corrugated cardboard. No issues on this front which is very well thought out by the design team. Being a very clean and tight fitting model, I went straight to paint. Celios lacquers have the same adhesion properties as primer. With white plastic filling and color correction isn't required. The dark gray I went for oxidized and rustic gun and dark metallics. Three tones. Camera lenses painted with metallic blue and thruster bells. A copper color with the internals airbrushed with dark metallic brown. All components given a Tamiya sludge wash black. 
to capture detail and definition, allowed to dry and harden and top coated in gloss. Each color separated clusters was done in batches and once hardened stored in a Ziploc bag for later assembly. Base colors was my usual three tone gradient shading scheme. Everything had an undercoat of silver or gunmetal, sandwiched with hairspray and chipped with a fine knife normally not recommended but I get very fine scratches and lines if I'm careful not to scratch through to primer or plastic color choice wise white and grays can be a interesting beast to play with to get the definition shadowing and look that you're achieving I break it down into more sub colors and very playful in the different military grays and tones that I can come across cockpit went for a dark red again everything sludge washed though the finish after hardening was automotive two parts clear which is very easy to use and has a lovely finish unlike any of the references the colors of the plastic the box art shows some of the highlighted armor parts around the arms chest having a green tinge or a very light gray green and uh, definitely obliged with the lightest Soviet green I mixed a long time ago for the Korean tank project and thinning it down further and mixing it with greys it came out fantastic definitely had a lot of fun playing with all of these tones and color choices after a full amount of time for drying and chemical hardening a few days to a week where I can handle the parts with my bare hands and not leave fingerprints more importantly any solvents fully evaporated out of the plastic and cutting it back on risk of brittle joints and breakages no issues assembling color separated pegs was adhered with PVA glue I can only say that I highly recommend this line and particularly the Demi Trainer. Community and close friends colleagues also highly recommend the Aerial Gundam. With the right shadowing, washes and fine chip weathering, the model pops and I'm extremely happy with the gradient and finish of this particular build. Definitely one of my better pieces or my best one in a while. Off camera also dirtied the feet up with pigment. The two parts automotive flat clear is a major game changer for me and actually enjoyed posing and taking photos of this kit. Most fun I've had with a Bandai or Gundam model of of a very recent box release date. Good conclusion, great outcome. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content. Check out the reference down below in the description section, other social medias and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later.